Oh, the Murdochs are at it again. Becoming a parody of succession. It's like Rupert's purposefully morphing into Logan Roy. F off. The world's most dysfunctional media dynasty is in the headlines again because the old man is pulling the rug from under some of his children. Rupert Murdoch is trying to change the rules governing the family trust, which dictates what happens to his newspapers, websites and TV stations when he goes to God. Or the other place. Hey, devil dude! Down here! An event which mathematics suggests can't be that far away. I didn't want to cause the fuss, but now that you mention it... When the family trust was established 25 years ago, it was designed in a way that gave equal voice to his eldest four children, James, Elizabeth, Prudence and Lachlan, who is pictured here spotting a tattoo that's proof Bogan Noir transcends wealth and class. Checking out my ink. The trust was created well before Rupert's two youngest kids were born, so poor old Grace and Chloe are out in the cold. It's the hard knock life for us. Rupert's trying to amend the trust, so Lachlan is in charge. He wants that because, politically speaking, his eldest son is an apple that didn't fall far from the tree. Lachlan is a right-winger who for years has been pumping the tyres at conservative powerhouse Fox News. I'm sorry, this is going to be difficult to say with a straight face. This settlement reflects Fox's continued commitment to the highest journalistic standards. He's pro-Trump. No and tolerated Tucker Carlson's more extreme views for years. The Pentagon condemns Fox News host Tucker Carlson for his comments about women serving in the U.S. military. Before eventually boning him. That's really bullshit. Rupert grew ever closer to Lachlan because of their shared view of the world. We can rule the galaxy as father and son. And the other kids don't share that view? Not as enthusiastically. Agree to disagree. Word is the three kids Rupert's trying to shun were caught completely off guard by the secret court action in Reno and they've lawyered up. Imagine they'll have decent representation. The best in the business. <laughs> Jimmy, Liz and Prue are arguing that Rupert and Lachlan are playing dirty pool. It's outrageous, egregious, preposterous. If the court hearings were secret, how'd to get out? In exquisite irony, the case was hacked. The New York Times got a copy of the judge's 48-page ruling that Rupert is allowed to change the terms of the trust if he can prove the amendment is in the best interests of the children. He's going to argue that there's no money in being woke and he's saving James, Elizabeth and Prudence from themselves. The Times says the 93-year-old talked to his daughters about his plan, which, perhaps unaware of the exquisite irony, he was calling Project Harmony. Oh, I wonder how that went down. Not well. Apparently they both went ballistic, with Elizabeth in particular giving him an expletive-laden earful. What the actual f***? That would give most fathers pause for thought, but Rupert Murdoch is not most fathers, and his family tree reflects that. He's just married for the fifth time. Time. This guy's wedding singer is the busiest man in showbiz. I need you more than ever. With four exes under his belt and six kids scattered around the world, there aren't enough Gantt charts to work out who begot whom and who should get what when Rupert dies. That's the way we all became the Brady Bunch. Ordinarily, a family feud doesn't enthrall the world, but it's different when said family owns a media empire able to swing elections. Fox hasn't knocked too much shine off Kamala Harris. Give them time. <laughs> Kamala has defied expectations and closed the polling gap with Donald Trump, despite the Donald coming out hard against her. While Harris was busy on the hustings, Joe Biden was tweaking history, saying he decided to pull out of the presidential race not because his party had abandoned him, but rather because it was in defence of democracy. The most self-aggrandising statement since Donald Trump said he took a bullet for democracy came during Joe's first public speech since making way for his Veep. There's also a time and a place for new voices, fresh voices, yes, younger voices. And that time and place is now. The Democrats are now hoping those new, younger voices can do actual words. But as, as fellow Americans, can we do that? I'm Ben Harvey.